There's been a lot of discussion recently amongst feminist content creators about my response videos and what could and should be done about my subscribers visiting the original videos and leaving negative comments and downvotes. I've had a range of suggestions put to me that include reading a vocal disclaimer in each video, publishing a dedicated video expressing my disapproval of the practice, and opting not to publish a link to the original video in my description. After some careful consideration, I've settled on what I believe is the right policy for my channel going forward, and that policy is as follows. Fuck ya. I'm not changing a fucking thing. You see, what I do here on YouTube is very simple. I tell the truth, no matter who it's going to offend or how much dogpiling it's going to cause. I tell it like it is. And it's the very fact that I'm honest, and most feminists are dishonest, that causes this dogpiling to occur. Let me give you an example. Because 97% of all of the rapists doesn't have to spend a single day in jail. Okay, so this 97% of rapists that she's referring to that never spend a day in jail are obviously people who have been accused of rape and have subsequently been acquitted or found not guilty. So the 97% she's referring to aren't rapists at all. And this statement is complete bullshit. There are false reports, but only less than 1% of all of the rapes that are reported, not to even mention the ones that are not reported because people are scared to report. Less than 1%. Sweetie, here's 100 men who have been accused of rape. 3% are convicted and go to jail. 1% of them have been falsely accused. That leaves us with 96 men, all of the grey men that you can see here. They've been accused of rape, but they haven't been convicted. They were either acquitted, found not guilty, or the police had insufficient evidence to lay charges. By making the two claims you've just made, under your own authority, you're convicting all of these 96 grey men with rape. Which is pretty amazing, because a court couldn't do it, but you can. Bullshit. Now when you have a look through the comments section of this video, this is what you see. Chrissy Ossidy says, Hey girl, great video, liked and subbed. Microwave Me Show says, Very well said and I agree with you. Who are your favourite feminist YouTubers? If you'd like, I could give you recommendations of awesome people to check out. Jenny McDermott says, She'll be big for sure. Sophia A says, So fucking proud of you. Emily Caddy says, This was amazing. Thank you so much for this. And good old Danny says, Hi there, this is a good video. Just a fair warning that there are channels out there dedicated to destroying feminist videos. One of them hides behind the disguise of a cartoon bear. My advice in the event that this happens, stay strong, keep fighting, and don't let the haters bring you down. I got the opportunity to speak with Danny one-on-one -on -one a little while ago. One of the things we discussed was people from my audience leaving negative comments and dislikes on original videos. I've included a snippet from that hangout at the end of this video. Now, one of the main reasons I started making YouTube videos was I was sick of feminists and social justice warriors getting away with spinning absolute shit like this and going unchallenged. Somebody needs to set these people straight. That's what I do. If I were to look at videos like this and see in the comments section that outspoken feminists like Chrissy Ossidy, Microwave Me Show, Jenny McDermott and Danny Boy had done what they should have done and corrected this girl's mistakes, there'd be no need for me to do it. As Captain Planet would say... But while they neglect to point out statements that are objectively untrue, I fucking will. I have made it very clear that I don't condone what is known as dogpiling. I have a disclaimer that spells it out in the description of each video, and at the start of the video itself. I also remind my audience regularly that I don't support bullying. So go fuck yourself, you whiny fucking cunts. Do what you should be doing and correct these mistakes when you see them, rather than turning a blind eye and encouraging even more bullshit. And we'll be on our way to fixing this dogpiling issue you keep complaining about. Bye. You condemn comments um, that anti-fems uh, make about people's appearance and intelligence because they're, they're not criticism? Right. Like, I mean... Like, I mean, personally speaking, I can criticize a, a person's points, but at the same time, I personally wouldn't go after the way someone looks, like, how some, like, pretty much if I made fun of someone's weight, someone's hair, someone's 
the way someone talks. Like I personally wouldn't do that as it doesn't really do anything beneficial to the argument. You know that video you made addressing Warcorp 666? Right. I thought you said in that one that um, one of his recent videos got dogpiled and downvoted by feminists because uh, it was a stupid video and he's an idiot. Yeah, well, uh, good old War Corps. Is that not an insult on, on War Corps's intelligence? Yeah, I would like... War Corps, if you're listening to this, I would like to formally apologise for that insult. You then go on to say that... Um, that feminists in, in general aren't looking to censor anyone. But if somebody makes, say, a, a, a movie that shocks and offends people, then they've got every right to boycott that movie. Right. So if, if you're an advocate for free speech, right, mm -hmm. and feminists aren't looking to censor anyone, right, and if somebody makes a movie that, that shocks and offends, then people have the right to boycott it. If I make a video and lots of people decide to go and thumbs down or leave a negative comment on the original video, are they just using their right to free speech and their right to boycott videos that shock and offend them? Hmm, that's an interesting one. I mean, I, I mean, personally speaking, I wouldn't like thumbs down it if I didn't have any legit criticisms of the video. Like, so say say um, say three hundred people, three hundred of my viewers went to, you know, were, were shocked and offended by a video that a feminist put up, and they went and thumbs down and and left a negative comment. Um, they're well within their rights to do that, aren't they? Yeah, they're well within their rights. That just because they're in their rights to do that doesn't mean I won't. I won't. Like though, I won't personally attack the. Sorry, it's just fixing my chair there. Anyway, like I was saying, I think they personally do have the right to thumbs down a video they don't like, but that doesn't mean I won't make a video defending that person. Hmm. Fair enough. Uh, you got anything you want to chuck in, man? Mm. Well, even though we do have disagreements on certain things, I both I think both of us can agree to not liking Clementine Ford. <laughs> Fucking spot on, man. She's fucked. What 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 do you not like about her? I heard rumors. About, about what? Uh, I don't remember the rumors I heard, but... <laughs> Fair enough. because of the patriarchy. Because we learn girls to be careful instead of teaching boys not to rape. Because sexistic, racist, and homophobic jokes are not funny. And they've literally never been. Because bisexuals, asexuals, and transgenders are not taken seriously. Because when I was younger, I wanted to dye my hair brown because people kept on making so many jokes about blonde girls was so dumb. Ah! I don't, what do you mean?